Hello, this is the CRT van here. Once again, that background noise is the uh, Toshiba radio. Turn it down a little bit. But here we have the insides of my uh, trash pick um, Samsung SyncMaster 3NE CQB4147 CRT computer monitor from June 1996. And um, yeah, the reason why I haven't really shown this monitor in action, even though I did mention in the original video when I found this that it does work fine is because it's actually an analog monitor and sometimes I'm just kind of lazy I don't really feel like uh, getting all the computer stuff and hooking it up just to show you it because it doesn't show the little color bars in fact I once made a video of uh, just turning it on without the cable and it showed nothing but when it's hooked up to computer it actually works so yeah as you see it's um, made in Malaysia but from the 90s I guess that's pretty typical um, here's the anode connection for the high voltage, here's the degaussing coil, uh, oh boy, it's getting a little windy out here, dang. Um, here's the overall circuit board, and, um, you can't even see the neck board, because in most CRT computer monitors, the neck board is hidden by a shield. Here's, here's the deflection yoke, uh, it looks like some sort of transformer or inductor, um, let me take a better look around for you. It's a little 12 inch. So, once again, flexion yoke, anode connection to the high voltage, which goes on to the flyback transformer. And, um, yeah, this, this is, this monitor is not too special. It's pretty, it almost looks like it's more complicated than a typical 1996 CRT television, but it's not as complicated as like a digital um, computer monitor like the 1992 Hitachi Super Scans of Green 21, which is crazy difficult which you've probably seen before, the insides. But yeah, a little 12 inch, works pretty well. I usually use it as a test monitor when first testing computers. Since the Hitachi, the 1999 Hitachi, um, 17 inch one is my main CRT monitor now. So here's the front. Really typical 1996s. So yeah, this video is trying to get a little bit long. There's a big capacitor down there. And so everything inside looks pretty good. I mean, pretty, yeah, pretty good. So there you have it. So thanks for watching.